All right, you asked for it, and here it comes. I'm finally gonna show you how to use the Bob Ross brush cleaner and conditioner. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it worth the money? Plus, I'm gonna show you the proper technique, so that way your brushes will be looking like new for a long time to come. Here we go. Caught it. That was pretty slick. Let's go. Hey, my name is Wild, helping you become bigger and better with your creative adventures. Need a little bit of hand-holding, inspiration, or just awesome tips and tricks and reviews like this one right here? Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. Perhaps the product I get DM'd and messaged about most is the Bob Ross Brush Cleaner. Whether you just buy it on its own or you get it in the value custom pack like you see here, people are always wondering, is it actually worth it? Well, we're gonna dive into that in a second, but I wanna let you know why you would even wanna clean and condition your brushes. You have to remember bristles on a brush are essentially just like the hair on top of your head, where it can be brittle over time if you don't take care of it and nurture it by giving it nourishment. And essentially, that's what a conditioner does for your paint brush bristles. And when you add on a conditioner, you're essentially giving it more nourishment so it's gonna be stronger. So that way, when you take your paintbrush and apply it to your canvas and those bristles just bend, they're not going to snap. They're actually gonna stay strong and push and flow that paint across your canvas, which is why you should condition and clean your brushes. So that way, all the hard earned money that you spent doesn't go to waste on buying new brushes all the time. Before you start using the Bob Ross cleaner and conditioner, you actually wanna do a few things to make sure you get the most out of it. When you're done oil painting for the day, make sure you take your paintbrush and you dip it into a can of odorless paint thinner that has a screen at the bottom. This will allow you to work off the bigger chunks of pigment and color. Let this essentially do the heavy lifting. When that's all done, take your paintbrush and your beater rack that's inside a trash can. Hey, we did a video on this, check it up in the top right corner, and work it back and forth so those chunks really come off and the paintbrush more or less becomes air dry. Now there will still be some more residual color hiding here in the paintbrush, and there's a really cool trick to take care of that. All you need to do is just take a spare piece of paper towel, a shop towel works best, or even a rag, and just fold it over and take your paintbrush and pinch the bristles here and pull the rest of the color out. When you open up the actual paper towel, you will see how much residual color you got out. Whew. All right, now that we did all those steps, now we're ready to use the Bob Rush brush cleaner and conditioner. Now I have no real easy way of showing you this, so forgive me if the angle's a little bit off. Depending on what paint brushes you use for the day is gonna determine how you use the brush cleaner. Now, if you painted with a one inch or a two inch brush, which are the bigger brushes, I really recommend put a couple of drops down on a paper plate and work your paintbrush back and forth till it gets a little bit of a coating on the bristles. From there, just take your fingers and slightly massage the cleaner into the remainder of the bristles. Don't be afraid to get in there. Now, if you used a smaller paintbrush, like a fan brush, script liner, filbert, anything like that, all you really need to do is take a couple of drops put them on the ends of your fingertips and start fingering your paintbrush. Oh yeah, slow motion finger cam. Do you like how that feels? Ho ho ho. Keep your mind out of the gutter, ladies, come on. And slightly just massage the bristles back and forth and all the way up and down until you have a good even coating. With all of your paintbrushes coated, all you need to do is dip them into some clean odorless thinner, which I have over here in a paper cup. Slightly dip them in and blot them off with a paper towel to get them dry. You do not have to pull out all of the thinner and you do not have to pull out all of the conditioner. The trick here is you actually wanna leave a little bit of the conditioner on so this way it can nourish the paintbrushes and condition them while you're not using them for an extended period of time, whatever that may be for you. You really only want a hint of the conditioner on the bristles, so don't overwork the cleaning process at the end here. And there you go, your paintbrushes are clean and conditioned for the next time that you use them. Now, before you stop watching, there is something that you need to know about any conditioner that you use. Since these have cleaners and additives on them, you wanna make sure you clean your brushes before you start painting with them again. Otherwise, all these additives that go onto the oil paint could have a negative effect. Generally, it'll crack it or make it too thin. So before you start using any paintbrush that you've conditioned, you wanna make sure you dip it into odorless thinner, clean odorless thinner, 
and then work it off really good within your beater rack or even just pulling it out with a paper towel like I showed before. This way you're good and prepared for your next painting ahead. Now, do I think the Bob Ross brush cleaner is worth the money? Hey, for only like eight to 10 bucks, yeah, I think it's worth checking out. You know, some of the reviews on this say it's actually the best brush cleaner and conditioner there is. I've used one bottle and I do like it, but I don't know if it's the best. I actually really like the Master Tub brush cleaner that I talked about before in a previous video. I'll put it in the top of the right corner. But this is also really good. I've been very happy with it. So here's my advice for you if you're interested in trying it. You know, you can buy this for eight to 10 bucks and try it out. That's not really that much money to something that's gonna really preserve the life of your paintbrushes, which is probably something you spent a lot of money on. But if you wanna have a little bit of fun and play around with things, hey, don't be afraid to go with the base coat value pack. I'll put both of these in the video description down below so that way you can pick and choose which one will be best for you. By the way, anytime you click through one of those links, they really help support my channel. So thank you very much for being an awesome person. I'm finally glad that I can get this video out for everyone that's interested in the Bob Roche cleaner and conditioner. Now, if there's a product you would like me to review or give you my personal opinion on, hey, let me know in the comments below. But until next time, I think we might take a look at the Bob Ross mixing pellets. I get asked about these all the time and I've got two, one for travel and one for home. And everybody always asks how I customize my palette for in-house studio painting. So maybe we'll take a look at that as well. But don't be afraid while you're down there in the comments to hit like and subscribe. And also just let me know how generally awesome I am. I appreciate it. Now I will see all you beautiful and creative people coming up in the next video very soon. Stay safe, stay creative, and as always, peace.